Hey fellas, this is the Game Hunter. Before we start with the show, don't forget to subscribe and also activate notifications. Let's start with the show! What is up guys, this is the Game Hunter, another episode of Rise Up Civilization, let's keep rocking and today let's talk about the new commanders that are coming in the game, we got 3 epic commanders and also 3 legendary commanders, we're gonna start with Belisarius for the Byzantium Empire, the first skill, the active skill is called Deception, decreases damage of the target by 10% and defense by 10% for the next 2 seconds and deal massive damage, damage factor 150 to the target in the next turn okay so damage reduction attack reduction and also we got direct damage uh, i'll take that <laughs> irresistible the passive skill increased damage dealt to barbarians of course from 5 to 35 Bucerari increases defense of cavalry unit by 5% increases march speed by 10% for 10 seconds after leaving battle okay after leaving battle only and after that, we got the oblique tactics. When target army has been reduced to less than 50% strength, increases damage dealt to target by Belisarius army by 10%. Bonus damage from 10 to 25. Okay, so this is a kill shot. Okay, <laughs> if the opponent in the, it's in the ground, you're, you're gonna keep kicking that. Okay, with expertise, increased defense of cavalry unit by 30%, increases march speed by 50% for 10 seconds after exiting. Battle. I like this expertise for Belisarius, and this is the first epic commander, one of the new epic commanders in the game for the Byzantium Empire. Okay, so let's get ready for the second one. Well, by, by the way, this is a cavalry, it's a peacekeeping because we got extra damage for against barbarians, and we got this mobility, those bonuses in march speed. But be careful, those bonuses are related when you leave battle. After that, we got Pi Bars from the Arabia Empire, the father of the conquest. This is a cavalry, it's a conquering, and also have a powerful skill, active skill. Okay, so let's start analyzing this first. Samstom active skill, deal massive damage, damage factor 300 to the enemy, maximum three targets in a fan-shaped area in front. Reduces current targets march speed by 10% for the next two seconds. Okay, direct damage and also march speed reduction. Maybe getting this guy with Chao Chao will be interesting, so we can decrease a lot of speed. We got the Arabian Knights, increase attack of cavalry unit by 8%, from 8% to 20%. I like that. I like that. One of the reasons they decide to go with the Arabia Empire. And this one, I have no idea how it's called, but normal attack has a 100% chance to decrease the attack of garrison by 1% and defense by 1% when attacking other governor's city. That's why it's a conqueror. That's why it's good attacking city. Attack reduction and also defense reduction. This is a 100% chance. Okay, so what about just doing? <laughs> give me a 1% chance. Okay, give me just 1% in reduction. After exiting the battle, a portion of the slider when the unit will be healed. Okay, and the match speed will increase by 20% for 10 seconds. Okay, one more time, we got a bonus in 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 what is called a march speed, but just for a limited period of time. With expertise, deal damage, massive damage of a thousand to the enemy, maximum five targets in a fan-shaped area in front, reduces current target march speed by 50% for the next two seconds. Okay, with that fan factor, I mean that fan shape, it reminds me a lot to to Richard the First. Osman the First with the Ottoman Empire. It is a leadership, that means they can carry a lot of troops. It's a conqueror, okay? Attacking cities and also we got a powerful active skill. Let's start analyzing all the different skills for Osman the First. The Empire Awakens. Will the sword of Osman deal massive damage, damage factor of 400 to the target? Okay, it's simple, that's it. A lot of damage, from 400 to 850. Radiance of Bursa, increased troops attack by 5% for 120 seconds after attacking cities for more than 30 seconds. Oh, okay, interesting, so we need to attack a city after leaving them, we got some extra bonuses to keep attacking other armies. The Sword of Osman, when an active city is used, deal uh, additional damage, uh, damage factor 150 for the target for the next turn. Okay, interesting. So actually using the, the active skill, we're gonna get an extra bonus in direct damage. The Sultan's Glory increases troop capacity by 2%, from 2% to 10%. I like that too. And the Empire's Rising, this is the expertise. With the sword, the Osman, the strength, massive damage from factor of 1,100 to the target. 
target. Okay, nothing nothing really amazing about this one, but it's okay. It's definitely the, the active skill is really powerful. Constantine the first for the Byzantium Empire. It's an infantry commander. He's good at defending cities, and also it's a good support commander. Interesting. Let's start analyzing all the different skills. Edict of Milan. For the next 5 seconds, decreases target attack by 20%, increases troop damage reduction by 3% in your army and nearby friendly armies. Nearby, okay? It's not just your army. Your teammates also gonna receive this buff. Attack reduction and damage taking reduction. I like it. 3% to 10%. This is similar to Cleopatra. We'll talk, talk about that in a few more seconds. The Allegiant Z increases health of infantry unit by 15%. This is great. From 15 percent to 40 percent constantine is a monster richard the first blast constantine or also adding charles martel that would be crazy in pace increases the attack of the garrison unit by two percent and attack all the watchtower by two percent when this commander is serving as a garrison commander okay bonuses of the garrison troops and also for the watchtower from two to ten percent hmm. Remember, Cleopatra also got the special bonus for the whole army. The Cross of the Divine. When troops units are below 50%, give a powerful treatment healing factor 7,500, which can only be treated once per hour after the troop left the city. Hmm. Okay, we might need to pay uh, extra attention to Constantine. We might need to actually unlock Constantine in order to analyze this special skill, this passive skill, because it looks extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. Okay. All right. So they, they're going to get... Wow. It's just... <laughs> it's it's kind of difficult to understand. And then we got the one on the August August. Increases passive skill. Troop attack by 25% and defense by 5%. This is a new skill. This is not an expertise. What are we talking about? Now let's go and see Saladin from the Arabia Empire. Hold fast. Deal the break damage. Damage factor 600 once to the target, then reduce the ma march speed by 10%, decreases its healing effect received by 20% for the next 5 seconds. Okay, so march speed reduction, also healing effect reduction. And soon, this and that. Oh, this is the whole fast is really good. It's amazing. Look at that. Because the direct damage is still it's, it's crazy from 600 to 1400. Gulams increase cavalry units attack by 8%, defense by 8% and march speed by 1%. Another, and that's why I believe that Saladin is probably the best new legendary commander. Look at that, cavalry defense bonus, attack bonus, and also march speed. Are you kidding me? The fighter bomb, skill damage taken from the enemy reduced by 20% and counterattack damage taken reduced by 10%. Wow, okay. <laughs> it's like a win-win. Generosity increased damage by garrison by garrison by ten percent. By Salani is enabled to plunder resources by attacking other governor cities. Okay, so we can do some extra damage, but we won't get resources from that city. Uh, I understand that. I understand that. I remember when Salani was trying to attack. His, uh, well, we're talking about that Nazareth. That, that, that's a whole complete different story. Uh, and with expertise, deal direct damage of 1700. Once the target and reduce the march speed by 50% and decrease the healing effect received by 50% for the next 5 seconds. Crazy, 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 ridiculous. Saladin, you are just crazy yeah. amazing. Ben. Mehmed the second yeah. from the Ottoman Empire, the ruthless conqueror. Ottoman cannons uh, deal direct damage factor of 600 to enemies in foreign face and fan shape. Area maximum fight target. This skill did death additional damage to the city garrison and watchtower on uh, factor 150. Okay, direct damage and also additional additional damage to city garrisons and also watchtowers. Wow. Okay. I like that. That's why it's a conqueror. The Lord of Sand and Sea increases troop attack by 8% and skill damage by 10%. Wow. Okay. So the, all the troops, not just one kind, all the troops and also the skill damage by 10%. Can you imagine? Wow. Saladin plus uh, Mehmet to get together. That would be crazy. The fate. When attacking the other city, normal attacks have a 10% chance to cause additional damage to the garrison's damage factor 500. Wow, one more time. Another wow. Sage King increases troop capacity by 3% when a rally is launched by this commander. The maximum rally's army capacity will increase by 2%. Okay, so we got a rally bonus and also the capacity of this commander is also getting increased by this skill. Amazing. 
Jerusalem was the city that uh, Saladin was trying to take and at one point he was generous and decided not to kill everybody. I was just trying to go back in time and remember that. And with expertise we had deal damage factor of 1700 to the enemy's team of forward shape, five targets, wow. And we got that extra damage to watchtowers and garrison units. I don't know guys, but I believe these new commanders are just crazy powerful, especially the legendary Oldsman also and Divers too. Follow this is the Game Hunter, another episode of Rise Up Civilization. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.